Hello my darlings, I hope you're all doing very very well, I hope you're sitting comfortably, you are cosy and you have your snacks and your beverages, are you all snuggled up, are you all feeling incredibly full and over food since Christmas, yeah, yeah, I mean, oof, some lettuce would be great right about now. <laughs> but if you're not in the mood for snacks, make sure you are hydrated, okay? Hydration is key. Hydration is life. Thank you. It's good for your tattoos as well, being hydrated. Just letting you know. Hydrated skin does so much for tattoos, okay? Anyway, in today's video, I am, of course, doing another tattoo enthusiast. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I am getting over the flu. I do apologize. Anyway, in today's video, I am of course doing another tattoo enthusiast who reacts to tattoo TikToks. This is my absolute favorite series to do. This is your favorite series to watch. We never know what we're gonna get with this series, okay? Every episode is so different. It's kind of like having dinner with your family at Christmas and you don't know if your drunk aunt is gonna say something off the cuff or not. You know, you, you just don't know. Is she gonna behave or is she not? Who knows? Before we jump into the tattoo TikToks, I am happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Aura. Have you ever Googled yourself and were shocked to see that your very personal information was exposed on one of those public listing sites? Whether that be your phone number or your address or just personal information that you don't want the world knowing. Now there's obviously a lot of information about me online due to my job and I'm okay with that, but my super personal information, I am not okay with with being out there on the internet for everyone to see. I'm super conscious when it comes to internet safety. I always have been. I'm a kid of the 90s. I grew up as the internet become more and more popular and the horror stories you would hear about internet scammers and spammers, ooh. And the thing is, they're getting so much more craftier with what they do. They're so much more convincing. Data brokers are making an absolute fortune selling your information to scammers, spammers, robocallers, and anyone else that wants to learn more information about you. For example, again, where you live, your phone number, your email address. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your information information and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to, but they make it super hard to do so. So let Aura handle all of that for you. What I love about Aura is the fact that it's super easy to set up. You also don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental control, antivirus, VPN, password management, and so much more. You get everything at one affordable price and all in one place. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other tasks with a peace of mind. Stop data brokers from exposing your information. Go to my sponsor aura.com forward slash treacle to get a 14 day free trial and see if your personal information has been exposed. That is aura.com forward slash treacle for your 14 day free trial. I just want to say thank you so much to Aura for sponsoring this video. Okay, shall we have a look at what TikTok has to offer? Of us today. Why do you want a spine tattoo? You wouldn't even see it. Okay. Oh! 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 Oh my lord! I beg your pardon. This is a family friendly app, my love. And you're gonna advertise that you got a spine tattoo. So when you're getting it from the back, it's it's a good view for, th for the person that is giving it to you from the back. <laughs> I mean, fair play, fair play. I understand, yeah, all right, get it. Get it? Ugh. It wouldn't be my reason to have my back tattooed. Let me tell you, I mean, my back is tattooed. Um, but, um, yeah, I just, I, I respect it. I respect it. I, <laughs> I regret getting covered in tattoos. Excuse and not in the me? way that you might think. You see, 
I'm introverted. Okay. And there's nothing worse than being an introverted person covered in tattoos because now I've opened myself up to a world of unsolicited conversations okay. that I simply just do not want to be a part of. I don't I gotcha. care about the time that you went to Thailand and you touched a drugged up tiger oh. and you had some spiritual awakening. So you want to get a tattoo to commemorate that trip or any of your other tattoo ideas, okay? I simply do not care for them. So please, for the love of God, leave introverted tattooed people alone. <laughs> I mean, I do understand in some capacity, but I, I, oh, thing is, how are people meant to know that you're introverted unless they know you very well? And then that person is going to know you well enough to know about your tattoos and like, you've already had the conversation about tattoos and do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it comes off a bit like a little bit rude, you know? Like, I am pretty introverted. I know that doesn't make sense considering the job that I have, which is, you know, talking to a camera um but essentially i'm basically in this room by myself talking to a camera like i'm not actually talking to a bunch of people even though technically i am but do you know what i'm saying yeah i get it as an introverted person you know but like i also i don't know i just don't mind talking about my tattoos to people you know again i always say as long as they're not judgmental i don't care like let's talk about tattoos let's go like it's one of my biggest passions but eh different stroke for different folks. As an impulsive, mentally unstable teenage girl, I should not be able to own a tattoo machine. You are correct. So why, 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 why are we doing what you're doing? What even is that? What is it? A star? Also, why do the younger generation film like this? I freaking hate it. Just like hold the camera still. Okay. Like a normal person. I just like, I'm, I'm dizzy. You're making me dizzy. In more ways than one, okay? One, I am perplexed at the fact that you look very young and the fact that you're tattooing yourself in a bedroom. Two, why, just why are you filming like that? Stand still, hold the camera still. I don't care if this makes me seem incredibly old or boring, but like, I'm just, I'm dizzy, okay? <laughs> Slow down. But yeah, just leave the tattoo machines alone, please. If, you, if you've not done an apprenticeship. Okay, just just don't do it. Especially in your bedroom. All right, so you want a tattoo? Mm -hmm. I'll let you get one on one condition. Uh. We have to do it February 30th. Deal? Deal. Deal. Okay, shake on it. February 30th, you'll go get a tattoo. All right, All right. so y'all heard that. February 30th, I'm going to let him get a tattoo. He wants to go get a uh, tattoo. He's been asking and asking. So February 30th, we're going to get it. Right? Yeah. February 30th, right? Yeah. What day? February 30th. All right. Deal. We'll get this done. The thing that's getting me the most about this is the search is literally February 30th explained tattoo meaning. <laughs> so for those that don't get it, and normally this kind of thing just washes over my head. I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. They've set a date for them to get a tattoo. But no, for once I understand there is only... 28 days in February normally, unless there is a leap year, which takes it to 29 days. So basically February the 30th just does not exist. And I love that. That's freaking hilarious. The kid has absolutely no clue. Like they're just excited that they're allowed to get a tattoo, <laughs> but oh, oh, they're not, they're not allowed. <laughs> and honestly, if I was a parent, that's the kind of crap I would probably pull. I'm, I'm honestly so proud of that parent for doing that. Like that is good. I think if you are a parent, you should start using that on your kids. If they're asking for something and you don't really want to give it to them, just be like, oh yeah, February 30th, you'll have it. And eventually your children may clock on or they may not. I don't know. Okay. We have a tattoo reveal. Holy moly. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful and so detailed and so, it's actually kind of trippy. It's like, ooh, ooh, but it's so good, but it's kind of like triggering my, um, what's that? I can never say it, but it's like a type of pop of phobia. I'll type it down here, but like I strongly advise against Googling it because the images are just awful, but I don't know. There's something weird about it that's making my brain go, ooh, ooh, I don't know if I like that because it's like, I don't know. It's just like... Yeah, it's making my brain feel weird. But it does look very, very good. It's a really cool tattoo. But yeah, it's a little bit like holy for me, you know? Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's making me feel weird. Okay. Oh. This could be good. Oh, more stencil. Oh, yeah. I love stencil peels. Uh, script's a bit weird, but I think it might just go with the aesthetic, maybe? This is kind of cool, but there's a lot of high detail in such a small area. 
But it does look really freaking cool, don't it? I'm actually into this. It's so weird. But they're like, yeah, I like it. It does look like, like pretty like terrible, but great at the same time. I can't explain it, but it kind of looks like a scratcher's work, but like in the best way. I can't explain it. It just looks good to me. Gets a new tattoo that took five hours. Oh Lord. Tattoo flu. <laughs> that is the worst. Tattoo flu is not fun. I'm sure some of you have experienced it. And if you haven't, I am so jealous because it knocks me out. So I don't get it if I have like a small tattoo, you know, like a, I hate to be that person that says this term, but the palm size tattoo, you know, like a, a medium tattoo. You know what I mean though, like a four to five inch tattoo, okay? I don't get it for a tattoo of that size, but if I have a day session, the next day I do not feel well at all. But it's not like an illness, it's just like your whole body aches and you just feel tired and you just want to eat and curl up on the sofa and watch trash on TV and just be like, and just feel like really sorry for yourself. But um, yeah, let me know if you do get tattoo flu and how bad you get it. I'm jealous of anyone that doesn't. Okay. Having tattoos doesn't make yes. you professional. Having tattoos doesn't make you unsuccessful. This is a bopper. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. I can deliver a baby while I'm eight. I can save you from a fire. Yes. Yes. Yes, sing it. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> oh my god, I am living for this. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was 10 out of 10 content. That is the best tattoo song I have ever heard. That was just iconic. I'm sorry, can that now be our theme tune? I need to reach out to this person and ask if I can like use this in every video. <laughs> that was so good. But it is so dang true though. Tattoos do not make you unprofessional. They are just ink on your skin. They do not change how your brain works at all, okay? Where's the girl with the lens? I never wanted any tattoos, but I got it because I'm covering up a scar right in the middle of the flower is a really ugly scar. And the scar is from when I was pregnant the first time. I don't know if everybody knows this, but when you're pregnant, you have like double the amount of blood in your body. My body could not handle the amount of blood that it was producing and it started to grow a pocket of blood right here. It was like literally a sack of blood just like protruding off of me. Every time I would pop it, it would bleed for literal days and then it would grow back even bigger. So at one point I had a big sack of blood hanging. Oh, oh is that list? Okay, 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 okay. So I'm aware of the girl with the list, right. So obviously I was tagged in this because this person had a tattoo to cover up a scar from this blood pocket that kept appearing on her body. And then the girl with the list, for those that don't know, she has a massive, and I mean humongous list of reasons as to why she doesn't want to have kids. And I am also a person who is child free by choice, okay? But I guess, cause I'm a tattoo enthusiast, we don't really need to um, talk about the, um, the list situation, even though I could make thousands of videos about being child free, but, Anyway, I digress. <sighs> this whole thing is crazy to me. I mean, again, I'm child free by choice. I've never been pregnant. I don't know what the body goes through, but I like the idea of covering up the scarring with a tattoo. That's pretty cool. I always believe that should you ever wanna cover up a scar, a tattoo is a great way to go about it because you can put something pretty or meaningful over something that has brought you negativity, whether that be, you know, medical scarring or self-harm scarring, whatever, right? Tattoos are a great way of dealing with that. And this is why I love tattoos so much. They're not just, you know, there to make you look cool, even though that's a good enough reason for me. They're there for other reasons and I'm all here for it. But yeah, Jesus, I did not know your body could give you blood pockets while you're carrying a child. That's just another reason why I don't want children. <laughs> 
My goodness. Honestly, respect to anyone that ever does have children. I just cannot. I'm sorry. Not for me. I don't think Amazon should be allowed to sell oh, tattoo no. guns. No, yeah, correct. To morons. Oh, no. With ADHD oh, no. and no impulse oh. control. Casey, if you see this, no, you didn't. Oh, okay. Look away. Casey, look away. <gasps> Shrimps is bugs. Oh, my gosh. What on earth is that? Excuse me. But it's upside down on their knee. <coughs> Why? Oh, no, 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 no. That just bothers me. I mean, the thing is, upside down tattoos don't normally bother me. But if it's script on the knee and it's facing like this way instead of done that way, that bothers me. I don't know why. Please don't buy tattoo kits from Amazon because the majority of them are just terrible. The ink that comes with them is atrocious. Honestly, there's all sorts in that ink. I would never put it near anything or anyone. When the tattoo artist puts the stencil on and tells you to check the mirror. <laughs> yes! Why is it like this? It's like a full on fashion show and you're just doing all the weird angles. You're like, ooh, 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 all the time. The thing that gets me though is when they tell you to check the mirror and the tattoo is in the most awkward position and you can't really even see it in the mirror, especially if it's like the back of your thigh or calf and you have to like proper turn around and it's just like, oh my God, yeah, that's fine. It might not even be fine, but honestly, the effort of bending all over the place just ain't worth it. I, I'm not in my teens anymore. I'm not even in my early 20s anymore, you know? The amount of effort it is for me to turn around and look at the back of me. Uh, I trust you. All right, you're the professional. I trust that that's in a good position. Just let's get on with it. Let's do it. I want to go home and have a nap. I need a nana nap. Me tattooing my fourth tattoo on myself. Oh my gosh. Straight lines. Straight lines on yourself brave okay it might not be too difficult but again you're stretching oh no 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 the way they're sitting isn't too bad actually you just oh my gosh you just would not catch me oh my gosh the way they are bending honey i mean that would probably hurt my body more than the actual tattoo okay so they're kind of like black out in black outing they're kind of black out in everything do you know what the light work isn't too bad for doing it on themselves. It's a little shaky, but then what do you expect for how they were like sitting? That actually looks so dang cool. I like that. It's kind of trippy. I like it. It's not something I would go for personally because that's like a lot of real estate taken up by just that. You know, like that's in a prime real estate area at the front of your shin there. But I will give them props for doing all of that themselves, okay? They're just very flexible and I could never, I can't even sit on the floor for too long without hurting myself. <laughs> so I got this tattoo. Okay, right? cute. What I originally came in for. Cute. And uh, he's like, hey, you want to do a pterodactyl? I'll do it for free. What? So now what? I also have a pterodactyl. Isn't that everybody's dream that you like get offered a free tattoo while you're being tattooed? Like that would be so freaking cool i mean the thing for me is i always believe in paying your tattoo artist so i don't think i could ever take a free tattoo personally but that's freaking awesome that they went in for a tiny little tattoo and then they walk out with a free pterodactyl <laughs> like, and like of all things a pterodactyl like how did that even uh, how did that even happen <laughs> what's the tattoo trend you think will go out of style or age poorly um, micro realism is bullshit. It should not exist. Wrong. And it's gonna age like shit. So I'll be here to cover it up. <laughs> you don't like it? Fight me. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I kind of, well, I wouldn't say I agree strongly, but if someone asked me, like, what's, um, the worst healing tattoo or whatever i would say the exact same thing but at the end of the day people you do you boo you do you if you want the micro realism tattoo because it'll make you happy and you're excited about it then that's all that matters to me okay point of view you came in for your first tattoo <laughs> oh <laughs> that's really good i wasn't expecting that <laughs> i'm the person that like doesn't like to look when I'm getting tattooed. I kind of like to look every now and then because I'd rather see a big progression than watch the whole process because I feel like if I'm going to watch the whole process, 
it will feel like I'm there forever and ever and ever. So I like to look at stages. Let me know what kind of person are you? Do you like to look at the whole process and watch everything happen? Or do you look every now and then? Or do you not look at all and wait till the end? Let me know down below. Okay, you wanna know what the most frustrating thing for tattooed people in winter is? What's that? How oh, is anybody supposed to yeah. know I'm cool and tattooed yeah. with all these clothes? <laughs> this is where you have to end up getting a face tattoo, okay? I mean, they didn't wear gloves, but I'd imagine they'd probably wear gloves. Because I was gonna say you get a hand tattoo, but then if you wear gloves, then you're not gonna see the hand tattoo. And if you're wearing a scarf, you can't really see neck tattoos. I mean, mine always peeks out because my neck tattoo goes like up onto my chin area. So that always like sneaks out when I'm wearing a scarf. But if you wanna look super heavily tattooed, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to go on your face. And obviously not everyone wants to go on their face. So you either freeze to death and look cool, okay? or you get a face tattoo. There is no in between. I don't think there's any in between anyway. I can't think of any um, ways around it. Winter is a cruel mistress in more ways than one. <laughs> Covered is better. Oh, 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 no. I mean, it's a cool tattoo, but oh, <laughs> Ow, it hurts. Like I'm not even going through it and I know it hurts. It hurts me. I don't understand how anyone could do that. I honestly, I have so much respect for ah, for people who can do this. Why can't I come away from it? I just, oh, there it is again. Oh, it's so bad, I can't. I literally could never. Bum cracks and vagina tattoos is one thing I can never do and then add nipple onto that as well, like dead ass on the nipple. Oh, no, I just, it's not worth it to me. It really ain't, that pain and then the healing. <gasps> The itchy phase of a nipple. Does anyone just randomly get the odd itchy nipple every now and then? Or is that just me? You know, you sometimes get an itchy nipple, right? But imagine like a healing tattoo on the, oh, the itchiness, I can't. Like, uh, a flaky nipple. Oh, and the scabs on the nip. Oh, no, 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 honey. Absolutely not. It's not for me, okay? I absolutely refuse that kind of behavior it's almost offensive like i just ooh, it is the way it moves oh let me know if you have your nipple uh tattooed <laughs> have you been brave enough let me know how it feels let me know about the healing tell me everything it's so obvious that my son's school profiles me and i'm not sure if it's just because i'm the youngest mom here or if it's because i have tattoos and like i don't dress like because I dress the way I do, I don't know. Anyways, from the jump, in my opinion, it's been problems. It's like, I feel like around every corner, they're trying to prove me to be the way that they view me. Like to start off, before my son even started school, I wanted a tour of the school, and I felt like that was like an issue. Like, uh, the the way that they were so like, mm, yeah, I mean, I guess we can, you know, squeeze you in, but I'm, I, I can only do this time. Like, you know, it was very like, and I was like, Okay, I'll work around your schedule, don't worry about it. They were telling me about pickup and they there's a left side for pickup basically and a right side for pickup. And they told me like, it would be the end of the world if you went to the right side for pickup. Not even joking, not even joking. Okay, so the left side is where the buses do drop off and pick up. And my son's in the youngest grade. So I'm like, um, okay, so I'll pick him up on the side where the buses are and they're like yes definitely don't go to the other side even though the door for his class is on the other side of the school so whenever time goes on basically i do everything the way i'm supposed to i pull up in the same area um it's literally where every other car is and only me i'm the only one who was approached and he was like you're 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 and i was like am am i in the way and he was like yeah you need to move Okay, <laughs> settle down. Just say that, it's no big deal. Finally, I pull up one morning, I'm a little late, and a different teacher, she comes up to my car and she's like, hey honey, you could just pull on the other side. And I was like, oh, because your, your staff members made it seem catastrophic if I parked over there. And she was like, what the hell? No, you can park over there. I was like, oh yeah, thanks bestie. So I come park over here, right? This is where I'm always parked now and it's everything's fine. So finally, I'm parked in the right fucking spot, apparently. Okay, 
And there's a person outside with the walkie-talkie. They're like, you know, in this classroom, this child, and send them out. To everyone, every car, every car I see, and this is months in to him being in school. They know me at this point. Every car, she's like this. <laughs> Both of them are just okay. okay. And then to me, she's like, can you pull up? And I'm like, sure. Yeah, because if I react, then I'm only going to be as good as they're expecting me to be. So I, the patience that this has taught me, I'm a better person now. So rude to me. So cold. I'm like, hi, how are you? She's like, Neem. Neem. I'm like, Another time, <clears throat> he had a doctor's appointment in the morning, so I had to bring him in late. Okay? Oh my god. I walk in, first thing the receptionist says to me is, Where's mom? <laughs> like, I can. Like, it's so passive aggressive and so unnecessary. I once had, I'll say, a staff member from the school look at me and go, I understand that you're a new mom and this is your first time. And this could be overwhelming, but this is how most parents do this. Like, if you've experienced this, you know what I'm talking about. Because I go out of my way. I'm early for drop-off. I'm always early for pickup. I'm always one of the first five cars here. Like, always. <clears throat> and I do such a good job working my whole schedule around my son's schedule because that's what it takes as a single mom, you know? And I just, like, you have no reason to have a problem with me. They're out of their way, passive-aggressive, most of the times when I deal with these people. And I'm just like, girl, what's your issue? What is that? Anyway, yeah. That's a lot. Like I said earlier in this video, I don't have children. I don't have any experience with the school drop-off or school politics. But from TikToks and people I've spoke to over the years that have children, it seems like that it's a, it's a stressful situation. And people at school drop-offs or what we call in the UK, the school gates, right? can be incredibly judgmental and for what and for why you know like get a life honey all right stop it and it's always the same people that are like this okay it's the destined to be mothers the i bake cookies every day mothers the my child can do no wrong mothers you know like i don't want to like parent shame or anything and i probably get in some trouble for saying stuff like this but it's always the same people that are like this and i feel so bad for this person because they seem like a great mum themselves you know like why are people so judgmental and i fully understand the frustrations because i myself always feel like i have to overdo so i never come across as the stereotypical tattooed person i never want to be seen as like a thug or um, some kind of bank robber, you know, or rude or obnoxious or an arsehole because of all the tattoos I have, because that is like the stereotypical tattooed person, right? Obviously, tattoo acceptance has come a long way, but, oh, Lord. And it's just, it's a lot, you know? Obviously, I will put this out here. Obviously, as tattooed people or alternative people, we choose to look like this okay so we don't technically really have a leg to stand on but it would just be nice if people were nice to us you know and it is nothing compared to what people of color go through or people with disabilities or anything like that of course just leave people alone leave all different walks of life of people alone do not judge them for what they look like i mean i know most people do judge on first looks or whatever it's human nature but like just like don't make up a story about people in your head until you actually know them. Ah. Oh my god. Tap oh. out! Oh. How many times do I have to say <laughs> it? How many times? Boys, men, other masculine beings, please stop being little wet wipes. Wet wife, wet wipes when it comes to getting tattoos. Because yeah, this place hurts and all, but it's not that bad. Like I said, women are literally pushing nine pound watermelons <laughs> out of their fannies. <laughs> Guys, can I get a tattoo? 
oh, I tattoo girls any day. This is ridiculous. Who thinks it? Like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. I mean, that person is definitely creating a commotion. The thing is, ribs and the sternum area is pretty painful for literally anybody. All right, there is no denying it. Like, I'm sure there's maybe a couple of people that enjoyed getting their ribs tattooed or whatever, but oh, Jesus, absolutely not. But the thing is, if it's hurting you that bad, there's no shame in it. Just tap out and say, I cannot do this. We're gonna have to do this in sessions. Like that is the nightmare client. If you can't sit still, okay? Unless you have a medical reason, of course. But if you can't sit still, stop. Go home, have a rest. Too many people try and do the most and it just affects them in the long run and they end up feeling unwell and it's just a nightmare. Holy guac, oh my Lord. That is stunning, honey. That is a bit of me, I'm sorry, that is freaking gorgeous. That is a work of art, I am in love, I'm obsessed. Like all of it, like the colors and the detail in the skull and the, ah, oh, the. Oh. Honestly, one of the best tattoos I've ever seen. Just the way it just fades from that like glass window into the skull, like ribs and perfection. What does getting a tattoo feel Hell. like? Painful. It feels like you're being attacked by a very angry cat. <laughs> it feels exciting. It, it hurts. Yeah. It's like a really bad sunburn times probably a hundred oh, over oh, and over yeah. again. Not too painful. What? <laughs> oh, look, Remy, it's just nice to feel something sometimes. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I understand. I fully, I fully get it. But the person that said, oh, it's not too bad. What? People like that honestly scare me. When people say tattoos don't hurt and they actually have decently sized tattoos because there's the people out there that say, oh, tattoos don't hurt, but they have like the most smallest tattoos. And it's like, well, yeah, of course that didn't hurt. You only sat there for 10 minutes. It's not gonna hurt. But the longer sessions obviously hurt more because you're obviously getting tattooed for a more longer time frame. Yeah, long, longer period of time. Anyway, but people that have bigger tattoos and say they don't hurt, they those people scare me. They actually terrify me because it's just like, what have you been through that makes it like, okay to sit through hours of tattoos and you're fine. You need to be tested, okay? Are you like a biomechanical man? Are you the new Iron Man? When your client takes getting comfy for their tattoo to another level. This is genius. Nah, I'm sorry, but that is 10 out of 10 comfort right there. I would full on fall asleep. Actually, I would not fall asleep during a tattoo. Absolutely not. The only thing that gives me like the ick is the fact that it's not wrapped, you know? So if this person took it from their home, God knows where that has been and it's in the tattoo area. But I feel like if it was like maybe wrapped in cling film or whatever, it would be all right. But honestly, I don't blame them for having that at all. That would make every tattoo session so much better, so much more comfortable. As a girl that is chronically in the mood to being comfy and cozy, I'm all for that. I just wish it was like a little bit more hygienic, but hey. Okay, I'm gonna react to one more for this video. Come with me to get my palms tattooed. Oh, hell. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's so cool. They're both really cool tattoos, but oh. Oh, Jesus. Both at the same time, honey. I don't understand how anyone could do that. I would literally get through one and be like, nah, I ain't doing the other one. Absolutely not. Like I did one and like the first line, I was ready to go home. <laughs> I have to sit through the rest of it. I have to get through the rest of it. And I was already over it. <laughs> but I have nothing but respect for those that can get both of their palms tattooed. I just, <laughs> I don't think anyone understands, unless you have a palm tattoo, of course, but I just don't think anyone understands just how much it hurts. I would much rather get my neck tattooed again than have another palm tattoo, and I still need to do this palm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, can I just wake up and one appear here? That would be bloody lovely. A part of me is like, let's just get it over and done with. Another part of me is like, no, you just need to just fully mentally prepare yourself. They do look really cool though, don't they? Like palm tattoos look really, really cool. It is worth it. Somewhat. <laughs> Anyways, my darlings, that is it for today's video. I just want to say thank you so, so much for being here and thank you for always tagging me in tattoo related TikToks. I appreciate you all so much. This series would not be possible without you. And yeah, I just want to say you're all freaking awesome. And until my next video, bye.